weapons in the wrong hands for more than 24 hours now. We are talking about 10 M11 pistols and six assault rifles. Worcester police tonight taking to social media to get the word out and get the weapons back. FBI agents are working a lead. Five investigates learning the FBI is looking for a man and SUV caught on surveillance around the U.S. Army Reserve Center. He's wanted in connection with the break-in and the high-powered weapon stolen from Worcester's Army Training Center. The break-in happened in the overnight hours Saturday into Sunday morning. Five investigates now identifying those 16 stolen weapons to include M4 assault rifles and handguns. Worcester police are on heightened alert. The break-in at the Lincoln Stoddard facility doesn't appear to have any terrorism ties, but missing stolen assault weapons are of grave concern for all city and state leaders. I'm especially concerned about it. Um, Separate and apart from anything that has to do with terrorism, I'm just concerned about the fact that some really high caliber weapons were stolen from a, a military facility in the first place. I mean, that's my primary concern on this. There's a lot of weapons on the street. You're not sure what the weapons, who, who broke in. I uh, would love to find out who it was. And the FBI, as the governor said, and the state police are doing an investigation. Uh, we're not sure if it's local or, or if it's something bigger than that. Five investigators learned the suspect or suspects broke in through the roof. An employee called police reporting smoke in the building and signs of a security breach. Worcester's city manager in a statement says the Worcester Police Department is now actively collaborating with federal and state law enforcement agencies in the investigation. And they're trying to track these weapons through a national database, but remind the public you can always call in an anonymous tip to police. Live in Worcester, Rondella Richardson, WCVB, News Center 5.